Welcome to the PMD Pro 1 preparation program. This module focuses on the importance of balanced, integrated, and iterative project management. Organizations working in the development sector have worked on projects for decades in locations across the world, whether those projects be emergency relief projects in Africa, or they could be income generation projects in Southeast Asia, or agriculture projects in Latin America. Over the decades, they've learned very valuable lessons on how to effectively manage projects, and they've documented many of these lessons. For example, these are two books out of hundreds that exist developed by organizations working in relief development conservation on aspects of project monitoring. The first developed by Mercy Corps focuses on design, monitoring, and evaluation. The second on the, by the World Bank focuses on monitoring and evaluation. There's wonderful knowledge that exists in the, um, in the document repositories of these organizations. Many of these documents, however, focus on the elements of project design, project monitoring, and evaluation. Some of the reasons that this is the case is that these are the areas that get especially high incentives for development organizations when they get them right. Good project designs get projects approved, and systems that allow to show impact of projects through the monitoring and evaluation of the projects, through their indicators, and through other elements of those systems help to assure that there will be continuing financing in the future. Project design, monitoring, and evaluation, which together is known as DM and E, is of a great importance in the development sector, and it's of extremely great importance in project management. However, while it is necessary for good project management, good project design, monitoring, and evaluation is not sufficient. To be effective in managing projects, you must be sure that your system is not limited just to strengths in the area of project design, monitoring, and evaluation, but in fact that the system is balanced and has investments in the entire project life cycle, starting from project identification and design, but also focusing on the systems, techniques, tools, and knowledge that will make project initiation effective, that will make comprehensive project plans, effective implementation, and clear processes for end of project transition. The importance of a balanced project management approach is something that is critical to project management success. A second element that is important to project management success is to focus on integrated project management. In the generic project lifecycle supported by the PMD Pro, it appears like most of these phases in the project lifecycle are independent of each other. You finish project identification and design, you begin project initiation. You finish project initiation, you begin project planning. You go through your project planning implementation cycles, and then you end the project. In reality, while this is a helpful image to explain the phases, in reality, it's not nearly as clear. If you look at this image, you see that the identification and design phases have a lot of effort at the beginning of the project. However, they, they, they wind down over time, and you see the initiation activities will begin and be quite active even before the design is finished, and the planning will be beginning before the initiation is finished. And what you see is, in fact, that the life cycles overlap, they inform each other, and that they're integrated with each other, and it's not a neat and clean finish one element and continue to the next. Another way to look at this is to say that these are not only integrated processes, but they're iterative processes, and the importance of making sure that when you're doing your implementation, that implementation is going back to inform your monitoring and evaluation system, to inform your planning for the next elements of the process, to inform the closing transition processes that you have planned for several months ahead of each other. All of this is part of a system that the uh, thinker Deming identified as the learning cycle, where you start by planning, then you act, then you monitor, and then you learn always reinforming and reassessing your processes and as you move forward in your cycle. 